Ayurveda, Secrets of Healing by Maya Tiwari. Um, the Five Airs of Vata. The Second Air, Udan, Second Part, Page 9. Udan, Keeper of Memory. At the subtle level, the Creator infused through the breath the eternal air of Udan into all living creatures, in order to track our various experiences and lives. Udan is the Creator's time clock within us. Every breath we take expands karma. My commentary, if not, we surrender ourselves fully to the supreme and loving devotional service or we act completely selflessly as uh, Nishkam Kama Yogis which is explained in uh, Bhagavad Gita uh, you can look up the shloka Yakyadat Yakyatat Karma Nyatra Lokuyam Karma Bandaha so if we act otherwise, then with every breath we expand karma. When the breath is long, cool and rhythmic, we are able to increase our lifespan and to better serve the purpose of our journey, which is to ultimately uh, realize ourselves, otherwise all the steps in between. When the breath is shallow, rushed and fatigued, we shorten our stay and leave the travel unfinished. Means we have to return again in another life form. The cosmic breath we received produces sound. Our voice is a reminder of our sacred origin, <coughs> since it expresses breath through the sound of the Creator. That's a sentence to meditate upon. Our voice is a reminder of our sacred origin since it expresses breath through the sound of the Creator. Again, there could be so many things said about this, but we don't want to go too far from the original book, original subject matter, which is actually Ayurveda. So, Through wholesome and kind utterances, we are able to maintain our cognate privilege as humans. Means if we don't utter kindly, if we don't behave kindly, etc., we will go down into the lower species otherwise. All harmonious sound produced by humans resonates with the vast and immutable consciousness. So, original consciousness is harmonious. Likewise, all disharmonious noise we utter or create, whether through our own voices or mechanical devices, results in the impairment of memory, both experiential and cognitive, as well as alienation from our cosmic nature. This is also confirmed in Chaitanya Charitamrita, where it said, Brahmanda uh, Krishna Bodhi Sejiv Anadi Bahya Mukha and Atta Eva Maya Tara Deha Sangsara Dukha. So we are in this samsa and we are uh, experiencing troubles, dukkha, because Krishna Bodhi. Uh, Krishna is the original form of the Supreme, one name of the Supreme which donates its original nature and if we forget him if we turn away Bahir Mukha hmm, turn away the face then problems arise because we are in disharmony with the cosmos and with our true nature our cosmic nature 
Udan's lesson is one of alertness and sanity. When we are able to control our sound, we protect Udan. In this protection, we preserve our nature of awareness. Then we are able to hear the distant flight of a hawk, the silent crawling of the sand. We are better able to read the universal signs and to observe with reverence the sacred staff given us to walk the journey, the staff. to listen in this uh, regard I would like to comment two books one is called Nada Brahma and the other one is called The Third Ear um, both authored by Joachim Ernst Behrendt from Germany very nice studies